What's good YouTube? Today we're back with another market watch and we're looking at an insane price for Swap Frog, but it's not the real price. Don't uh don't have a heart attack just yet. I'm not going to tell you, oh my gosh, Swap Frog's a $100 card. Over here we have it at 75 on eBay and we have two full play sets that are under this price point. So uh, uh 90, 90, 80, 80, 75, 75. So uh if these six do get bought out, which is only two playsets, but such an expensive price, uh, this would actually be the lowest price point per almost, except there's a set uh, over here at like 240 for the set. So like at 70, 70, 70, that's 210. And then 80, 80, 80 is uh, actually above this price point. So uh, that's actually the best deal if these two were gone. But yeah, so does it really deserve this price of like being this big of an ultimate rare? Well, it's an ultimate rare we waited for forever. It's actually playable in a play set right now when people need three and it's such a low quantity card. Um, I would say 70 isn't undeserved, but I still think 50 was a really good price point. I think this is a lot of hype. It's a lot of, ooh, yeah, this deck's so hot right now. Swap Frog's back, baby. Um, so... I think it should be resting 50 to 60. I think 60 would have been the appropriate jump, and we'll see it fall back to 60. But I could be completely wrong there. Again, don't ever, like, go and throw money at your screen because I'm saying things. Like, this is realistic thought processes on where I think it'll end up. Rare Fish, I warned you guys. I warned you. But again, TCG player being super ridiculous. Uh, $40 over here. 24 over here so when i showed you guys this lasted it was at 12 and i warned that it's a short print guys it's it's an instant fusion target like it's gonna be one of the only ways uh you get to bahu met after losing norden and uh it makes use of your dead otherwise dead instant fusion so uh almost every hero player will need this and how many people have hero decks in their back pocket ready if they already have some totally awesomes like they have their hero deck because they've had it forever uh, everybody like that has played the game in the past three years probably has a hero deck somewhere in their closet or around. So I think this is super, super important to note that, uh, I think it'll rest at 20, but this guy sold 50 of them. How do you sell 50? This has, like, I've said this, I think, I think these are glitches, but like, let's look at this guy. Five available, 50 sold. Jeez. How do you get that many of a short print? How many packs are you ripping open? Like... That's pretty insane. It, it, it looks like the real deal. Like, this man's. This man's on a, another level from most vendors. But he only has five left. After that, it's getting another little price boost. He he probably quelled the market on it a little or listened to my last market watch and went out and bought a ton cheap. But he's almost out. So then, whoop, next lowest, next lowest. So, uh... If you didn't get yours already, try to find a local buddy and give them a $20 build if you need to make Bahamut Shark. And, uh, again, <laughs> this is why we check both. Look at this. Look at the. You're saving, uh, almost $20. $17 difference here. Uh, only one listed. Probably a buyout, though. But over here, we've got a bunch of people drinking the sauce. A lot of people, uh, listing this up here. And, uh... We've got six people under that, so always, always check both guys, especially if you're going for the hype. Don't let somebody post something in a group and be like, oh, this is this now? Like, go ahead, check both, calm down. It's this on eBay, it's this on TCG. You know, guys, like, uh, just chill on it. And so uh, we get to Ulti Castell. It's 70 over here. People were freaking out that it was 100. This is what I'm talking about. Again, very high for a Astral Pack, but it's been out a long time. Everybody that has theirs that wants to keep theirs is keeping it. It's seeing a lot of play in ABCs. Uh, people are playing with Double Dire Wolf. It's something else you can pop with Dire Wolf if you're stacking your plays correctly. And it used to be a $70 card anyways at one ofs. And it's just that rank fours are back, baby. So... I think uh, it deserves its spot here, uh, but it is cheaper on eBay at 64 and then 68, then 70. So only two preventing it, and only one left from this seller, only two preventing it from hitting that $70 sweet spot on here. I think it deserves it just for the fact that it's a rank four staple that probably won't phase out of the game for a very long time or be power creeped out to where you would not want a Castell to be able to something away. Uh, 
Definitely a very, very good card, deserving its price point, in my opinion. Again, it could see the $50 treatment. It's a one of, uh, but there just aren't that many, and it's getting older. It's Astral Pack 7. That means 8, 1, 2, and 3 of the OPs. That's four sets ago now, and it's just only going to get older. Rank 4 strategies will come back in and out. Uh, they were kind of less apparent because of BAPK, and now ABC is here, and everybody wants a nice hollow card. I think it'll definitely uh, find its place at the 50 plus price point, and I think it's deserving of 70. It's a very nice ultimate rare, and yeah. So stop with the hollow stuff, John. Well, this isn't this isn't the hollow stuff. This is the only print of it. And uh, let's go ahead and get to totally awesome something base. Uh, 58. We're seeing it spike on its graph down here. We're seeing it go back up a little. Paleozoic's doing very good, but again. Uh, you can get it for five bucks cheaper over here, five bucks cheaper again, then four, then four, then, you know, not as much, but, uh, it seems like it's holding under 55 on eBay, but it's spiking pretty fast on TCG Player and gone to over 58, and everybody's trying to hold the, the door over here, so again, if you're an avid TCG Player shopper, uh, check eBay, guys, uh, it's winning on all the hype lately, uh, the hype deflation is over on eBay, and the hype seems to be on TCG. And uh, I don't want, you know, the vendors to be like, ah, oh, he's letting them all know, but uh, it's just common sense to check both. And uh, what's surprising is TCG, again, takes less fees from these people. So they're not only already getting more, they're listing higher on top of it. It doesn't make much sense to me. Like, you're already paying a little less. Like, fees hurt. I get it. Shipping hurts. But you're, you're in a venue where you take less fees over here and your price is higher than over here. So I, I think uh, it's just saying something about the buyout mentality of uh, how easy it's to do on TCG Player. Because the quantities are less and more people will flood over here once they see the price spikes. Uh, something I wanted to note where we saw a ton of Yang Zings on stream. It was incidental. Uh, they were trying to feature the other guys, not the Yang Zing players. And they just all happened to be playing Yang Zing Metal Foes uh, when they got into the feature match. Three in a row. And then uh, we saw it in the top cut a lot too though. Uh, the price isn't really affected at all. People have the mentality that the pure metal foes are probably the better choice. This does set up the most insane turn one board. So I want to actually talk about an investment in my opinion. Ultra rare, $2. Uh, I get that ultras are up, but look at that graph. It's just, whew, even though this event happened, it's only $2, $2 and a quarter. It's uh, the Bahamut shark price, and people are playing multiple of this. So uh, I think it would be something good to have. I think it'll see the Chi Wen Jiao to spike eventually, where, oh man, I've got to get these. It's brand new. Uh, we'll see... We'll see a lot of them on the market until the set's gone. People ripping open packs from regionals. People ripping open packs from their stores and locals. But $2? $2 is too low for this card. It's busted, in my opinion. But then again, Neptabus was a busted card, and it it never spiked. So I guess Ultra Rares just may be uh, stuck in that point. Uh, I wanted to point something out also. Uh, commons, uh, or not commons, rares are harder to get than super rares. And that's why we see uh, things like uh, Kirin and Kumungus and stuff be worth more money than a lot of uh, you super rares. And we'll get to that in a point with the uh, Paleozoics that I'm going to highlight over. But uh, I think this is a pretty good investment point at 250 uh, And uh, not just like, hey, go buy yours. I'm saying if you think you might play Yang Fing Zing Metal Post, this is the price you want to pick it up at. It's not going to go back down until the megatons from this low it's it's so good and uh i was actually thinking about uh investments and i thought hey summoner monk hollow uh heroes are doing a lot better more people are playing and every all of them play summoner monks like why why don't i uh think about investing well it's already kind of up there for all of its hollow versions the, the premium gold you know that that's a more recent set the highest rarity is the ultra rare um and that's the first up here. And it's a minimum of 550. It's actually dead even with eBay. So as you see, a card not thought about as much, not hyped. It evens out on these platforms. And uh, when something's spiking, you want to check both. But it's it's interesting to me. Uh, I think uh, it could be a $10 card if we never see a higher rarity like an ultimate. 
So over time, I think uh, all the hero players get their high rarities and keep theirs. But the problem is, the old gold, the gold 4, actually looks really good as well. And it's only a dollar cheaper. So you have three hollow versions of this card. Uh, I think this does look the nicest indeed. And that's why it is the highest. And also, it's a Yugi's World Ultra. So, of course, it's got a little bit of a higher price point. But uh, I was thinking about it. And I thought it would be a pretty good investment. Uh, but I think it'll just sit at five for a long time. And then slowly creep if the deck ever becomes more popular. So it's more of a, if you have a hero deck, go ahead and get yours. There's no harm. It's not going to go under five, probably. Uh, unless they just keep printing Hollow Summoner Monks. Which is unlikely. So, uh, the Paleozoics, no effect. And this is what I want to talk about. No matter how good a deck does, Super Rares from new packs, uh, where there's a ton of them, just won't do well unless it's Twin Twister, where people have to have two to three in every deck. Uh, the Rares like Kieran and Gamma Seal and other ones are just uh, actually harder to get. The Rares are harder to get because... Uh, you have a rare every pack and a hollow every pack, but there's more rares physically than supers. Like, there's there's like X amount of rares per set and X amount of supers. There's more different rares per pack. Or not per pack, per like set, like Bosch uh, and Inov. Like, yeah, Tittle is what I was about to say. The Dark Illusions, uh, for this specific example. There's more specific different super rares, uh, or rares than super rares. So... Uh, it's hard for a super rare to ever spike in price, and uh, Opabini is still quarters over here. So, I don't think it's something to invest in. The deck is, you'll only be playing these in Paleozoic decks. Paleozoic's getting no future support now. Uh, this is it, unless we see a TCG exclusive, because it was a Korean set uh, exclusive. Uh, but, again, budget, budget, budget. Uh, I've seen people play this deck on a budget. And I think it's pretty good, although I wouldn't play the budget version. So, what do you guys think uh, about the OP ultimates and the ultimates spiking up like Castell? Is it because of buyouts, or is it do they earn their spot with the hype? And uh, rare fish, uh, yeah, that's a pretty rare price, you know. Uh, again, always check both. Hope you all enjoyed this market watch. Let me know what you think in the comments below, uh, and anything else you guys want to talk about always let me know i'll check into it but i do my research and i wait for hype to die down just a little most of the time swap prog i just wanted to show because hey look over here don't look here don't get caught in the oh my gosh this card is this thanks for watching guys